Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, 30-minute uh, chart of the ES, which I'll turn into a shorter time frame in a minute, but I just want to zoom out a little bit and show you what we're dealing with. And what we are dealing with is a trading range. The trading range started out at 42. We had the, the FOMC reaction lows, matching lows on Monday. Then, in the overnight, we go up, Test the top of the range, come down. We had established this as, re as a resistance zone way back as far as last week. After the 42 test, we came down and, and, and made a higher low at 48, ran that up right back up into the resistance zone, retested 48 yesterday, and now, where are we? Right back up into the resistance zone. So, are we in a range? But it sure looks like it, um, and it sure feels like it. What's the range? Well, 67 to 48 at this point, I would say, is the range. Um, and I would expect at this point what we're seeing right now, which is a little bit of a reversal, um, coming back. We made a little bit of a higher low here at 59. What gets interesting is if 59 holds up, then you're going to start to see this turn instead into a collection of higher lows. Because if you really back it out, you got 23, 42, 48, potential for 59. But there's not, there, there isn't any potential for anything until it gets above the resistance zone. So we're going to have to see. So it's up into R1. Um, and you've got the daily pivot here at 57. You've got potential here at 59. And then, you know, on a breakdown, you have to immediately be looking at 48, which, you know, is, is in the area of, uh, of S1. So um, should be a very interesting day. If you zoom out onto a daily chart, what you're going to see is this. The Bollinger Bands continue to tighten up. Not, not as tight as they were here, but, I mean, who knows where we're going to be in a week. As the bands get tighter, and if we continue to range trade, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to continue to get tighter. As the, band gets, as the bands get tighter, don't anticipate which way it's going to break. Just understand that it's going to break. If it breaks up, we see 1,900, no problem. It, in the bag, 87 half has no chance. None. Zero. Okay. If we break down, I would expect a test of the lows back in February down at 1732.75 or establishing a higher low versus that area, which ultimately is bullish because we made this, we did the pullback, we've made new highs. We can pull back anywhere in here and be fine. You could even do a full-blown pullback to the 200-day exponential moving average, which is at 1747.38, which sits above that low. You could pull back to the 200, bounce off it, preserve that low, and then head higher. Now there, that you, you want a bullish scenario? That's a bullish scenario. And to get there by way of, of that kind of a pullback, it would have some lasting power. So um, those are just a few things that I'm looking at farther down the road. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. We're going to continue to be active on Twitter. We're going to keep posting charts there just to try to give you a glimpse of what we do and to see if there, you know, see if uh, if we can help you guys with your trading throughout the day. So come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. Come take a trial. Uh, we would love to meet you. Uh, I will be out tonight with another evening recap. We'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Expect charts and tweets throughout the day. Trade them well.